my friends welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi this is katie and if you're one of the many new faces around here lately hi welcome um i'm so glad that you're here and if you're back of course welcome back today we are going to be sitting down to do a whip and chat together and if you're not familiar with what that means um whip stands for work in progress and chat is we're just gonna chat and catch up a little bit so feel free to pull out whatever project you feel like working on whether it's crafting related or just something entirely not crafting related and we'll get started so very first thing that i want to do is um share some thank yous uh, for the people that bought me a coffee. Now, not a literal cup of coffee, but um, last week I launched my um, Patreon and my Buy Me a Coffee pages. And thank you so, so, so much for the support on both of those. And as part of um, what I'm doing as a thank you for those of you that choose to buy me a coffee, which is just a way to support my channel in a one-time way and not in a monthly subscription type of way like Patreon is. Um, if you were to choose to buy me a coffee, I just make sure I share a thank you in my whip and chats. So this is never ever something that is required, expected, passive aggressively hinted at, but I just want to show my appreciation for those of you that have decided to support me in this extra way. So um, first, Laura over at Anxiety Art Adventures bought me a total of four coffees. <laughs> thank you so much, Laura. Laura says, I forgot to write a message on the last coffees. I just wanted to say thank you for all of your extremely helpful videos and that I appreciate you and value our friendship very much. Oh, thank you, Laura. I value our friendship too. And thank you for the four cups of coffee. I am caffeinated. Belinda also bought me a coffee and said, I love your channel and really enjoy it. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much, Belinda. I really appreciate it. Deb H also bought me, she bought me three coffees. Oh, I'm caffeinated. <laughs> and she says, looking forward to watching your videos. Have a great day. Thank you. I hope you have a really great day as well. Josiane, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, also bought me a coffee and says, thank you so much for all the hard work that you put into making these videos that are so in-depth and very informative. I bought several kits and storage containers because of you. You're very sweet and wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. I love that my, you know, videos might be helpful for you and help you decide, you know, what kinds of kits and accessories you might want to buy. So yay. Um, and then Vicky bought me two coffees. Thank you, Vicky. And says, Katie, thank you so much for always being so helpful and kind. Love your channel, it's my fave. When I get everything back to normal, I'll become a Patreon. God bless you and your sweet family. Oh, Vicki, thank you so much. I hope that you and your family are blessed this week as well. Finally, my sweet friend, dot by dot by E over on Instagram bought me two coffees. So thank you so much, my friend. Um, I just, yes, wanted to say a big thank you again. If you are at all interested in supporting me through buying me a coffee or Patreon, I do have those, have those linked below in the description. Um, just, it's, it's the kind of way that you can support my channel beyond watching my videos, which is always more than enough and beyond appreciated. <laughs> so um, the other thing I wanna do before I get started is I have a little bit of mail um, that I need to get into, especially because some of this I'm planning to use in this whip and chat because I know what it is. So this first package is actually from my friend Laura, Anxiety Art Adventures. Something in here smells incredible and I actually don't know what's in here. This was surprise mail. How pretty is this packaging? Oh my gosh, I'm going to save this mailer <laughs> and repurpose it. Um, oh my gosh, something smells amazing. I'm going to start with a card. I smell, ooh, it smells really good. Oh, it's a thank you card. I'm gonna read this off screen. Oh, thank you, Laura. Oh my goodness. Is this, oh yeah. Crisp morning air, ooh. Okay, so Laura makes wee wax. This smells so good. Ooh, that's super refreshing. Oh, that's so refreshing. I love the rose gold tint as well. Oh, thank you, Laura. 
that's a special treat and of course some candy and her we wax business card of course as well laura does we wax drops the first friday of every month i think she said that um next month might look a little bit different so we will see okay what else do we have in here oh <gasps> she knows i love socks no way oh my goodness Oh, I love those colors. Okay, this one is tomorrow is a new day. The good news is that tomorrow you get to try again. Oh, I love that. <gasps> Look at the cherry blossom. This is from one of, I know, recognize this artist. I have a Zox on this wrist right now too, but <gasps> thank you so <laughs> much. I love my Zox. And if you aren't familiar with what Zox are, they're these bracelets that they have usually a really pretty pattern on the front and then um, a saying like on the inside and you can wear it either way. And then there's a card that just, it's usually something really encouraging and uplifting. I love my socks. Okay, well this one is just gonna go on this wrist for today. Thanks, Laura, <laughs> that's so sweet. What else is in here? I smell deliciousness. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> okay, lots and lots of candy. Oh my gosh, Laura, thank you. <laughs> and is this, like, is this real food? <laughs> it says we wax on it. No, okay. I'm like, what is it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> that smells incredible. I think she said what these were. Are they wax melts? I can't remember. <gasps> those, this is what I was smelling. Oh my gosh, I'll have to double check with her and ask what those are. But oh my gosh, Laura, thank you for this sweet little package. That was so sweet. Okay, we're gonna use this We Wax tonight. And then in here, this is from Patty Wax, and this is gonna be a minder, so we're gonna use this minder tonight. <laughs> And then we'll get into the good stuff. <gasps> what? She threw a thing of <sighs> stuck. <gasps> Laffy Taffy. There's a little invoice in there. You guys don't need to see that. Yes. 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 Love it. Love it. I love them even more now. <laughs> Lavi Taffy, is this washi? Am I looking at washi tape right now? What is this? I don't know, we'll figure it out later. I wanna get diamond painting and chatting with you guys soon, but um, Robin over at Patty Wax has been getting um, these like Harry Potter themed minders and I'm here for it. Like, I am so here for it. So I saw this one and had to snap it right up. <laughs> so we're gonna use that. And then last but not least, I have a new pen that should be in here. Ooh, what else is in here? Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is from Bella's DP Pens, and I snapped up this one in one of her Etsy drops. Now she does have a little bit of a longer turnaround time, um, but I just know that like going into any time I order one of her pens, so that's okay. Um, is this? Is this a minder? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, this is a minder. What? <gasps> That's incredible. Is it resin? I think it's resin. Look at that. Wow. Okay, I didn't order this. This just came with my pen. Wow. Okay, thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> And then, I don't even know if I remember what blank this is. I'm gonna cheat, I'm just gonna push it off the other end. Did this one have like a honeycomb something to it? We'll see. Ooh, oh, that's right. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, oh, look at that. So it's got like, kind of this like makes me think of like chaos colors i don't know what it is about these but 
it's like a rainbow, but there's something kind of psychedelic to it. So love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I don't remember what turning style I specifically chose, but um, you can choose different shapes. But okay, I'm going to switch it out for this is uh, let me go ahead and give you the stats <laughs> on the stuff we haven't covered. So um, this is one of the skinny metal multiplacers from the Sleepy Cat store on AliExpress. I am absolutely loving it so, so, so much. My only complaint is that right now she doesn't sell any sizes bigger that this is a nine placer. This is the biggest she has right now. Um, I am really, really happy with it. Um, I vastly prefer the skinnier, like the thinner multi-placers to the thicker ones. Like, um, I'm just gonna show up well. So the one on the left is the one that came with the Bella's pen just now. That's one of the thicker ones. And then you can see the metal one here is thinner. I like that it's metal because it's not wearing down the way that my skinny plastic ones do. So love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, we wax minder. Don't need scissors anymore. And yeah, you guys know where all these things are from. <laughs> And what are we working on tonight? We are working on Spirit of Flight. And this is the Diamond Art Club version of Spirit of Flight. So now we've gotten all of that stuff out of the way. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing really well. <clears throat> I am doing well. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so fresh and crisp. Um, love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, Yes, I'm doing well. It has been a little bit of a busier week for me, um, both like in real life and like in YouTube land. <laughs> um, lots and lots of fun, fun things have been going on, and I'm just trying to remember what all I've, <laughs> what all has happened since I chatted with you guys last week. So, um, what are some of the big things that happened? I want to say a huge thank you to you guys for the um the kindness and the openness that you shared with the um, summer with the masters video that i put up on saturday i know i had just mentioned here a number of times how nervous i was for that video to go up and uh to be totally honest with you i don't know that there's really been much in the way at all as far as negative comments goes so I would really appreciated that um, there were a couple of points that some people brought up that I actually thought were good points and worth um, you know I responded to them they were brought up very politely like you know a couple of people said kind of along the lines of you know the reality is that even the least expensive diamond painting companies are still outside of my budget like why with there being more companies popping up haven't the prices been driven down even more and you know I had responded and said I think that it there's a certain floor that like a diamond painting company can't go below like the reality is that the cost of materials is what it is the cost of the canvas the drills the packaging um, the processing the shipping the staffing like all of those things cost money full stop um, and if you're paying the artists like that is taking a chunk as well so realistically there's only so low that those prices can go especially when you're talking about again paying royalties to the artists so um, it, anyway it, like I said it was a good discussion um, in the comments and hopefully it just opened some minds um, I also, like I said, I had launched my Patreon and my Buy Me a Coffee, and this past Friday put up my first weekly Patreon vlog that's available at the Diamonds and the Diamonds and Washi tiers. And I was nervous for that at first because I've literally, I've never vlogged before, ever. <laughs> um, I'm having way more fun with it than I expected to. Um, I'm really, really thoroughly enjoying it. So those weekly vlogs are going up on, are going to be going up on Fridays. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone that joined me over there. Um, other things that are going on, I, 
am really chugging along on this Josephine Wall project, like a lot. <laughs> I am enjoying it so much that I don't want to put it down. I don't want to put it down. I, I know just Monday I put up the part two comparison video that was comparing the first column in each piece, which that's, you know, that's what I had completed at that point, which is the first column in each piece. And there's going to be eight columns in each piece. Let me back up. If you're new and you haven't seen the videos that I'm talking about, you're like, what? What are you talking about? Um, I am right now taking on a really fun, but kind of uh, epic level <laughs> uh, comparison project. I am working on two versions of the piece Spirit of Flight from the artist Josephine Wall. I am working on the version that Diamond Painting Deutschland has put out that has 275 colors and this version which is from Diamond Art Club and has 66 colors. I really just I could not resist the idea of doing a large scale hmm, I wonder what that was please tell me it was fireworks um, doing a large scale comparison of these two pieces because as if you've watched those videos I know you've heard me say it a lot but they just these two companies have completely different styles in nearly every way shape or form about the only thing they have in common is that they've both legally licensed this piece from <laughs> Josephine Wall <laughs> Um, and yeah, so I'm loving it. I'm actually, I feel like I'm betraying my first Josephine Wall project by saying this a little bit, but I'm actually enjoying working on Spirit of Flight from Diamond Painting Deutschland more than I enjoyed working on Magical Merry-Go-Round. I think that... In the end, the colors in Magical Merry-Go-Round were very monotonous. They were all, it, there was just, there were a lot of browns and grays in that one. Whereas <clears throat> this kit, this piece is just a rainbow of colors. It's so fun to work on. And there's so many different things going on throughout the piece. I absolutely still love the piece Magical Merry-Go-Round. Um, I would hang, that print in my home in a minute um but this is holding my interest more to work on as a diamond painting it's a little less tedious and i finished the second column on the diamond painting deutschland and i just have well i'm finishing up the second to last section on the diamond art club and then doing the final section, which I'll finish tonight, whether or not that's in this whip and chat or after I've stopped filming the whip and chat, um, it'll get done tonight. So then I'll film that comparison video. It probably won't go up until next week because I have a really, really, really exciting thing happening, a video going up on Friday, assuming that the mail cooperates assuming that the mail cooperates. Please UPS cooperate. <laughs> I've got, I'm so, 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 so excited. And I will chat more in depth with you about it in next week's Whip and Chat once that video has gone up. So, <laughs> um, anyway, just an FYI, I feel a little bit guilty about this. Actually, I feel a lot guilty about this. <laughs> but I have decided to change how a little bit how I'm working on this piece. I think that I said I think that I said I was going to do it one way in one of my videos, but I have since changed my mind. So, let me grab Okay, here. So, this is the piece Spirit of Flight, right? The first column I worked on was here. The second column which I'm finishing now is here. I was planning to just go straight across this piece. I have changed my mind. I am going to save the section with her face for last. And I promise I'm not doing it to taunt you guys. I'm doing it as motivation for myself because I have seen a couple of people working on the Diamond Art Club version 
and lately and so they started over here and have been working their way over and I'm looking at the colors in this section and I know that that's not going to be as fun for me to work on. And so if I save that to the end and if I work my way across them, that those are the last two or three sections I have to work on, I am not going to want to work on them. Like it's going to feel like a chore. It's going to feel tedious. <laughs> so I've decided that I am going to save the column with her face for last. So after I finish these two columns, I'm going to hop back over to this end and I'm going to work my way over and then end on her face. So... I know I feel a little bit guilty because I know a lot of people have said like, oh, I can't wait to see the comparison like of her face between the two kits. Um, me too. <laughs> but I think I have to save it for last or I just am going to lose my motivation. And a project that is this large scale, even though I'm loving it, I feel like there's going to be a high risk of burnout. So I'm trying to um, nip that in the butt as much as I can. So don't don't be mad at me. <laughs> I promise we'll get to it. As it is, I feel like these first two columns, I've managed to complete the first column, like a column in each kit in a week total, which I'm moving really fast right now, but um, I don't know if that pace is gonna keep up, but I mean, that means hypothetically I could be done with this project in six weeks, but I'm absolutely not. <laughs> uh, speaking of projects and finished projects, I finished my custom of Miranda the Tempest yesterday. I will have a post review up on that probably either this weekend or next week. Um, we'll see. That piece... That was an interesting experience. I have to be completely honest. I'll touch on this in the post review as well. But that piece was shockingly tedious to work on. I felt like that was the piece that would never end. It felt like it took me forever when I was working on that piece to get through it. I can't quite... I, have a, I mean, I have an idea of why... That is, I think, so I love the artwork. I absolutely love the artwork. Like I still just sit and stare at the artwork and go, this is beautiful. Like I, I love this. I love the emotions that it's evoking. Um, and the quality on it was fabulous. Like really, really fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with my first order from Uniquely Yours Down Under and really happy with how it just worked out as a custom. But I think because so much of that piece, so much of that piece of artwork is rocks and ocean, grays, blues, browns, like the only color in that piece really is in Miranda the blues and the reds and that's like I don't know not even that's maybe a tenth of the whole piece um, and so and I think because of the size that I chose I got a 50 by 70 which was the smallest of the recommended sizes she sent me in the mock-ups it turned out just like the mock-up um, where it's not terribly detailed, but you can still very much like see what the artwork is. So part of me wishes I'd gone bigger for more detail. Um, and part the other part of me is just relieved that I didn't go bigger because I was very tired of that piece and I spread out my time working on it. I don't know why. I think it was just boring maybe so that's a bummer like <laughs> I don't want my disappointment with the experience to come off as like some kind of bias in the post review because that's completely on me that's completely like personal preference kind of thing that's that has nothing to do with the artwork itself or the company and the quality of uh the piece from the company oh I missed a bunch of the last anyway I'll get it in a minute 
Um, it has nothing to do with how much I love the artwork. I just, hmm. I mean, I was working on that piece for over a month, like a 50 by 70 around. <laughs> And I think I maybe I just was so excited about working on these Josephine wall kits that it just overshadowed like the any joy that I had for that. And it was like I'm coming from these rainbowy, like beautifully vibrant pieces to this artwork that's mostly um, grays, browns, and blues. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I'll have a post review up on that soon. I. I would have already kitted up my next Old Masters project, but I have so many projects going right now that I don't have enough storage, I don't think. I, pr I probably do, but I decided to wait. After I do the post review and kit down Miranda the Tempest, then I'll kit up my, it's a custom from Crafties. I got it in squares, it's a 40 by 50, it has it has a lot of yellow in it, which is not normally my color, but I really liked the artwork, so we shall see. Other things that are coming up, um, my, ooh, ooh, this is something that I actually need your help with. And I just posted about this on Instagram. Um, so if you've answered me over there, I haven't like actually looked at my, at Instagram since I posted this in my stories and then had to go do my kiddos bedtime and stuff. Um, but I would love your suggestions on an Android tablet, like a really cheap Android tablet that I can use for uh, my heaven and earth designs diamond painting conversion. Um, that actually came in <laughs> over the past few days. The canvases came in today and a giant box of drills came last Friday or Saturday. I don't think that I'm going to try to start that project while I've still got this project going, but who knows? I mean, I'm feeling like a, what's the phrase that I've heard people use? I'm feeling like a serial starter lately. <laughs> so we'll see. But all this to say, all of my devices are Apple and like iOS. Um, and my understanding is that Pattern Keeper is an absolute must. And for a project this size, I don't want to work off of a paper chart. <laughs> I think that would be such a terrible idea. So if you have been like in a similar spot where you're like, you've literally just been looking for an Android tablet um, that to use for Pattern Keeper and you have like a really cheap option that'll get the job done um let me know please in the comments or send me a message and um they are working on like it says on their website the pattern keeper website that they're working on an ios version but they do they're in the early stages of development don't have a launch date for it so <laughs> we'll see <laughs> That project is going to be rather epic. Um, it'll be my first time doing a diamond painting, heaven and earth designs conversion of a cross stitch chart. And of course I picked a massive piece <laughs> because I don't know how to do small projects. <laughs> but that's like my other big diamond painting bucket list project. Um, so, you know, if it takes me a really long time to do, that's really fine. It's really fine. Other things that have been going on. Oh, this, this is something to note as well. Um, a couple of you have asked recently if, if you could send me something, like how would you go about doing that? And I actually, after thinking about it for a while and I chatted with my husband about it, um, I now, I have a PO box. Um, just for sake of uh, privacy and safety. It just is, seems like a smart idea. Um, just for a number of different reasons, really. Even some of the small shops that I'll be buying from um, or partnerships that I'm doing. It just seems like it's probably a good idea for the sake of internet safety. So I will, from this video forward at least, I will have my P.O. box, uh, my address for sending me things linked down in my description. Um, yeah, 
So that is not a, again, just like I said before about Patreon and stuff, that is not a hint. That is not a like, okay, now send me stuff at all. Like, no, not at all. This is just, um, again, this is just, I'm going to use this for a few different reasons. It's there if you need it. If you do want to send me anything, um, I'll check it regularly, but uh, also it wouldn't hurt to give me a heads up. Just, you know, send me an email or an Instagram message, but. Anyway, oops, that's way too many drills for that spot. Okay, almost done with the section. Um, what else do we have going on? Let me switch over to telling you just a little bit more about what's going on uh, with uh, family stuff. So the boys are both in school, um, in person. Connor has been for a little while. Micah has been in preschool now for a few weeks and they have school the rest of this week and then next week and then they go on summer break. We did sign both boys up for the extended school year or summer school program um, because they're both in special needs classrooms and because of the current services that they both really need, it would really be best for them if we didn't have like a two and a half month, three month gap in services over the summer. So summer school is still less intensive than regular school. They only go for half days instead of full school days. Not that Mike is in a full school day right now anyway. Um, and it's just for five weeks out of the summer, four and a half or five weeks out of the summer. So it's not even the whole summer. They'll get a couple weeks off after the regular school year ends. And then they're basically, I think, in summer school for the month of July. So um, it's been nice to sort of settle into a rhythm here with having the kiddos in school. Um, here, really quick, pause that. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you guys a little comparison of this right now. So, okay, here's the section I just finished. Look at these, like, these colors are so bold and so vibrant and so not alike Josephine, not like Josephine Wall's original artwork, I don't feel like. So let's see, um, what's the best way to show you? So look, this is the section we just completed that has these little birds. I'm holding it upside down because that's the angle it's at. Like, look how muted and watercolor this looks. And then when I move it, like, look how bold and bright that is. It's an interesting design choice. I And I'm so curious to see how it looks once, like, the whole thing is done. I'm so <laughs> stinking curious. Okay, let me chop off this section and we'll do the next. By the way, um, I feel like last time I like cut a section on camera, there were several of you in the comments that were asking about what I used to cut my sections. Um, this is just a ceramic blade pen. <laughs> it has this tiny, tiny little pokey blade on the end. It's not even really a blade, like it's just a bit of ceramic. Um, that is so shallow, it's not gonna cut through your canvas. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so I can just move it out of the way. It just cuts through the plastic on top. I imagine if you pushed really, really, really hard, it could cut through your canvas, but like, it hasn't been an issue for me. This was a gift from my friend Jacqueline, um, Diamond Art Sparkles on Instagram. She got it, I think, from DP with Sparklers. Yes, like the Sparklers um, accessory shop. Like, she has some random diamond painting tools in there. And fun fact, we have a discount code from her for our Summer with the Masters event that is... I think I have it linked in the description of this video. If not, it's linked in our any of our Summer with the Masters videos. But yeah, we have a discount code for DP with Sparklers. So go check that out. <laughs> Let me grab a really quick drink of water. Why was that straw so loud? It's fine. Okay. Is this part even still in frame? I think so. Okay. Another color. What were we talking about? Nope, it's gone. Kids in school. There it is. Um, so yes, it's been good to settle into a rhythm of having a couple hours to myself at home in the mornings. It's been really nice. I've been able to take care of some errands without having to just save them all for the weekend. When Adam is off work and can hang with the kids, it has opened things up a bit. 
But on the other hand, the boys go to different schools and have different school schedules. So thankfully, I don't have to take Connor to school in the morning. Adam gets up and takes him at like 7.45. And then I take Micah to school at 9.30. And then I can run an errand or two if I, if I want to. And then come home and try to eat a quick lunch. I pick Micah up from school around 1. And then I have to pick Connor up from school around 2. It's just... I feel like I'm spending a lot of time in the car. <laughs> um, I almost in some ways feel like I get a little bit less done because my morning is so broken up with run to the school, get this kiddo, run to the school, get this kiddo. And it's like anytime I have to do a trip to a school to get one of the kiddos, it's like I'm gone for 20 minutes, half an hour. Um we did sign them up for buses in the fall um, when hopefully like the numbers continue to be good and whatnot. So that'll kind of, I think, free me up a little bit if we do have them actually ride the bus to and from school in the fall. But yeah, so all that to say that like I've gained some free time in my mornings, but at the same time, it feels like our overall family schedule has just gotten busier. And that's not a bad thing. It's nice to feel like there are parts of life that are starting to shift back to normal. Um, I feel like along with that, I'm having to learn how to uh, strike a balance in a lot of things. That's something that I regularly struggle with, is balancing all of the different important things in my life. Um and for me that looks like I want to make sure that I'm taking care of my myself as self-care I want to be taking care of my kiddos and have the margin I feel like I have the margin to be like a good and like I don't know like an active mom you know with them and whatnot I want to make sure that, that my balance is right so that I'm um giving enough like time and attention like to my marriage and then there's you know there's the things like friends and youtube and hobbies and the like house stuff that needs to get done and it's been a little bit of a struggle in some ways the past several months because for adam and i both we have these these hobbies that we both really love, that we really, really, really love. Um, and so it's natural that we really wanna to gravitate towards putting a lot of time into those things, but we're now we're trying to find the balance, like to bring it back to be like, okay, we wanna, even though we're, he's like killing it with his film stuff. And I have a lot of irons in the fire for, um, you know, making content and like having a YouTube channel and Instagram that are all fairly active. And I'm, you know, I'm just trying to figure out like balance. Where's the balance where I'm not giving too much of my time and my mental margin to, th to things at the expense of others. So... Um, I, th I have a feeling that's something that most of us really struggle with. And so it's the kind of thing I try to give a lot of grace for in other people. And I'm, I'm incredibly grateful for um, the people that are gracious, gracious with me. You know, I have a couple of girlfriends in, quote, real life. <laughs> you know, people that... I've been very close friends with for years. Um, and you know, honestly, the pandemic just sort of, the past year really threw a wrench in my energy and like f just feeling like I wanted to still be connecting with them. Like after the novelty, I say novelty, that's a really like insensitive way to put it. But like 
we t- I feel like we were really good about texting and staying connected like for the first six months or so. And then I feel like a lot of us just got burnt out and we're in survival mode. I'm sure in my earlier whipping chats, that's <laughs> if you go back a bit, that comes up. But, you know, I still am struggling to get back into a rhythm with um, staying in touch with them and reaching out to them. I feel like I'm out of practice at being social in real life, (laughs) you know? Um, And I'm incredibly grateful to them for any time I have reached out or have been like, yeah, let's, you know... I, I'm up for it. Do you want to go do blank? They've never, ever once held it against me. They just, they get it. They get it because sometimes it was them that was having the tough time. Um, and that's that's just what you do, you know? Um, sometimes people are just in a phase of life where they have more margin and... I think that for a lot of us, the past year, year and a half has thrown that completely out of whack. So um, one of these girls, her son has a birthday party on Friday that I think I need to check where it's at. I assume it's at a park. It's, this one's almost always at a park. But um, I think I'll try to take the boys to that. And... Um, it'll be good to get out of the house and get to see them in person and let the kids play with their friends <laughs> and of course like celebrate their birthdays birthdays okay I think I need to reload I'm gonna reload this but first so we're this far into the video and I just realized I don't think I asked you guys how you're doing I'm sorry. Um, Like I said, it's been a really uh, busy week in a lot of ways, like in good ways. Um, But I think it just means that my brain is running at like half speed or half capacity. Um, So how are you guys doing? Let's go ahead and do a little mental health check-in because... I try to do these fairly regularly, and I think it's been a little while. Um, And so I ask again, not just, how are you? Tell me you're good. Um, How are you really? We're going into summer. There's lots of transitions happening just with the change of the seasons and even things like, I think a lot of people are traveling this summer, my family included, um, to sort of make up for lost time. If you have kiddos, there's transitions there with the transition to summer. And if you are like me, then transitions like that are very, very big triggers or potential triggers for anxiety or depression. Um, I sort of alluded to this. I didn't totally, I said, um, I'm having a hard time with just not feeling like going out and being social with my friends. I'm having a hard time with even responding to texts from them because it just feels like if you struggle with anxiety and and or depression, you probably know this feeling very well, where it's like, what is so hard about just responding to the text? And it's like, it's like this weight. It's like this palpable weight that just, it just takes too much energy. I just can't do it. I can't do it. So for me, that means I know that You know, I'm struggling a little bit. Um, I've been a little less patient with my kids the past week or two. Um, So while even, (laughs) even while it feels like everything's been going my way, like why am I feeling like I'm struggling with my depression and anxiety? Because that's how 
mental health works because that's how things like that work they don't make sense they don't they don't make sense because it's a it's not something that you have control over it's not something that you can just say just be happy um just don't be anxious just 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 don't don't worry about it don't worry um it's much more nuanced and complicated than that so all this to say i i share this in empathy and solidarity with those of you that are struggling right now i want you to know that you're not alone and that i am here for you i i am always here to share warm thoughts and support and empathy and um just i just want this to be a space where um it's okay for you not to have it all together it's okay if you are struggling many of us started diamond painting because it helps with our mental health um and so yeah let's let's just do this little mental health check-in and let me know how you're doing and really really doing and uh, just don't don't be afraid to seek out support even though I know sometimes that's like exhausting like I've been there too where it's just it's exhausting to even try to think about <laughs> finding that extra support so um, anyway I hope that you guys are doing well though I hope that with summer I hope that summer for you means you know with more sunshine <laughs> unless you're not unless it's not summer for you let me not exclude like my Australian friends I'm sorry <laughs> but if it is summer for you and you're settling into that new routine I hope that it feels like a good thing and that it feels like you're getting more of your time back that it feels like fresh air a breath of fresh air um, for me I, I'll get there I'll get there <laughs> Um, the kiddos have had a little bit of a tough week, just, you know, I, I think that they're still kind of adjusting to being in school. Um, they're doing really well, but <laughs> Connor's really been kind of pushing, pushing those boundaries lately. <laughs> Mike has been a little fussy and I'm really, really worried about, like, I'm really hoping that we're going to see some, uh, growth with his some improvements with his speech lately he just has so little in the way of expressive speech and it it worries me i don't know if we should look into getting him into private speech therapy and just eating that cost because it's so expensive it's so expensive but so things that are coming up let me share with you guys just what's kind of coming up in the next week um I am, like I said, I, as long as UPS cooperates, I'm going to have a really exciting video going up on Friday. I am planning to film and have up the much requested video on how I section off my canvases with washi tape and how I use washi tape on my canvases. And I am hoping by saying it out loud here that I will actually do it because I've been talking about doing this video for months and I keep, I think I just keep having other content <laughs> come up that I, my brain tells me is more urgent, but like this needs to be a priority now <laughs> because it's been so long and like regularly I have people ask like could you do a video on how, how you section off your canvases with washi tape um and so I want to do that <laughs> so I'm sorry if you're one of those people it's like check where is this video you said you were gonna do forever ago <laughs> um next week I should be back to having my whip and chat on Monday 
I have a backlog of unboxings and post reviews and I'm going to be doing like the part three, like the comparison of the second columns on these two Josephine Wall canvases. Like you might be getting a lot of back to back videos. Normally I only do three, maybe four videos in a week, but I feel like I'm going to have some five video weeks or maybe even six, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but just keep an eye out for lots of fun content. And I will say, of course, if there's ever any, um, like if you're watching me work or hear me talk about something and are like similar to the sectioning off my canvas with washi tape and you're like, I don't know what that is and I want to see more and see more of an explanation on it, um, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm always completely open to suggestions and... Um, it's also possible that if you have a question about something, I may have already done a video on it. Um, but yeah, just feel free to let me know those kinds of things and I'm happy to help where I can. So um, what else was I gonna say? Ooh, okay, last thing I was gonna mention. Um, this is totally random, but I have been on the biggest good omens kick this week. I have seen oh shoot I'm pretty sure their Instagram handle is nerdflix and drill they are working on a custom um that's like based on the, the tv show good omens and I had watched it when it first like released you know forever ago it was on Amazon Prime video um and then I just sort of remembered it when I saw them doing that diamond painting kit, <laughs> that custom. I was like, ooh, I really wanna rewatch that show. So I've been like binging that show. And I'm wondering, one, are there any other fellow Good Omens fans in here? <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with like David Tennant and Michael Sheen in these, in these roles, like, oh my gosh. Um, fun story. The dog that we used to have, we named him after David Tennant. <laughs> like, yes, that was because of my um, love for him in Doctor Who, but among other things. But anyway, any other fellow Good Omens fans in here? And also, any similar shows you would recommend? If that kind of show is your vibe, feel free to share other show recommendations. And... Yeah, we'll see. Because, like, sometimes I I just, like, I really enjoy watching YouTube, and that really is, like, 90% of my video consumption while I've been painting. But sometimes I just am kind of in the mood for a TV show with some different content. Though Loki is about to start up, and I am stoked for that. Stoked. Anyway. Um, so if you made it all the way to the end of my whip and chat how about you share what your favorite tv show is at the moment in the comments we'll mix it up i know i usually do the emoji thing but um and if you don't watch tv i mean you could say youtube because you're watching this youtube video <laughs> or a favorite movie i don't know favorite tv show or what have you um quick reminder that if you use pattern keeper and have a really inexpensive android tablet that you might recommend uh let me know that in the comments probably won't be able to post a direct link to it because YouTube likes to filter those out of spam. So if you want to send me a direct link to like an Amazon listing or something, uh, you can send it to me by email or Instagram um, or just, you know, copy and paste the name and put it in the comment. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Um, I was a little, I feel a little bit scatterbrained tonight, but I think, I think that's because I just have a little bit of a lingering, like tickle in the back of my throat from the cold that Micah gave me last week. Um, I think it's just been distracting me. So I am yeah, sorry if that was kind of all over the place, but anyway, I'm really gonna let you go this time. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me um, in this whip and chat, doing that mail day and hearing all my random rabbit trails. <laughs> but uh, with that said, I really, really hope that you are having a wonderful week so far. I hope the rest of your week goes well. It's Wednesday, hump day, you're almost there. 
over the hump anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me know all the things. Let me know how you're doing mental health wise for a little mental health check in. Let me know your favorite TV shows at the moment. Let me know Android tablet recommendations and just any other, you know, snarky thoughts, comments, concerns, etc. in the comments. But if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up before you head on out of here. And of course, if you're not already subscribed and you made it all the way to the end, you might like it here. So feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos, which is a few times a week. So um, I hope you all have a really wonderful rest of your day and week, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, friends. Thank you.